My name is Mike Manos. This video is step-by-step -step instructions on how to remove the blower and check the burner on the FT series floor. This video is intended for licensed contractors only. Tools needed would be a Phillips head screwdriver, a 5 16 nut driver, a flathead screwdriver, 5 16 socket wrench, and a crescent wrench. And before we get started, we're going to want to remove our electrical and shut off our gas supply. We're going to start by removing the front cover. Doing so, we're going to remove the two clips and then release. And the cover pulls out and up. To gain access to the blower and the burner, first we're going to remove the display and the mounting bracket. We're going to want to remove the gas line, electrical, air, and to gain access to the burner plate, we're going to remove the side panel on the left hand side. Starting by removing the display and its mounting bracket, there is four Phillips head screws. Sliding at a 45 degree angle in front of the electrical. We're going to want to remove the air pressure hoses from the intake boot and also the electrical from the blower. The display will now sit on top of your unit. Removal of the gas tube is done with an open-ended wrench. There are two gaskets on the union connections and an orifice. It's important to reinstall these gaskets. If necessary, replace. Removal of the gas orifice is best done with a small Phillips or a flathead screwdriver. It's important to note the orientation of the orifice. The beveled side should be looking towards you. Flat side goes towards the blower. Next, we're going to remove the side access panel by removing the four Phillips head screws. Now you have access to your igniter and the 516 screws that hold the blower assembly in place. Removal of the air intake hose from the blower can be done with a 516 nut driver or Phillips head screwdriver. Remove the clamp and the hose slides off to the left. Using a micro driver or a small socket wrench, size 5 16 I'm going to remove the four 5 16 screws that hold the blower assembly to the heat exchanger. Removal of the blower assembly after removing the four 5 16 screws is done by lifting up and pulling out the front of the boiler. There are three different lengths of the 5 16 screws in the blower assembly. Please note where they go and make sure you reinstall them in the correct location. Removal of the burner is done by removing the burner gasket. There is a notch at the front of the boiler. A small flathead screwdriver works well. We're going to lift up the burner and pull it out the front. You want to inspect your burner for any debris clogged in the orifice holes being careful not to damage the ceramic felt on the backside. If cleaning is necessary, use vacuum from the stainless side. Do not put this flat on the ground. Now with our blower and burner removed, we can inspect our igniter and heat exchanger, cleaning if necessary. To clean your igniter, we're going to use a non-abrasive cloth, such as a dollar bill. And if cleaning is necessary for your heat exchanger, we're going to use a non-corrosive solution such as white vinegar and water, and rinse from the top down. The FT series floor also has a combustion air filter. You're going to want to remove and inspect as well. To do so, there are two Phillips head screws. Remove the two screws, pull the filter out. After inspection and cleaning of your heat exchanger, if necessary, we're going to reassemble in reverse order. If you have any questions, please contact the factory at one. 800-900-9276. Thank you.